One important component in your online marketing strategy is the ability for you to capture people's uh, names and email when they visit your landing page, your website, or any other marketing material. To do that, I'm going to show you a tutorial on Aweber. Hi, my name is Juan Martinez. When you first go to Aweber.com, you click on the order form on the order tab and you'll be taken to the uh, sign up page. In this page you're going to get Aweber and you can get a Aweber account for a, a dollar a month and it's nineteen dollars after that for the basic plan. Fill out the information contained in it and create your own account. Once you created the account you're going to be taken to the Aweber control panel. You're going to be able to log in the first thing you want to do is create a list. To create a list, you, you click on the button that says, green button on the right hand side that says create a list. You want to show your company name, your website address if you have one. The sender's name will be your name and sender email will be your email address is preferably to use an email address with your own domain name. You can also use a Gmail account, my, uh, Hotmail or any other of those accounts, but preferably you want to use your own domain account. You want to click on next. You want to give the, the name a list. Uh, it doesn't matter what name you gave to it, but it will be a name that you know what the list is about. So in this case, I'm going to type sample. Also, you want to create a brief description that people are going to see when they sign up for to your list. Uh, so then you're going to click on go to the next step. You're going to choose your um, verification email. Uh, in other words, when people sign up to become a subscriber on your list they're gonna get a confirmation email you can use a standard one that is created for you, you of course you can edit and, and tailor to your needs once you've done that you're gonna approve the mes message and create the list okay in this case I already had created that same Go back, let's change the, sound, the name of the list and click on next. Okay. Once you, we have completed all of that, the system will create the list. As you can see, here's the uh, list we just created. Then you want to go to the messages tab and create the follow up series. The follow up series is the email that they're gonna people gonna get automatically once they become subscribers in the follow-up series you have an option to on the drop down menu to either use the drag and drop email builder plain, plain text or your own HTML code L in let's use the drag and drop email builder in this case you're going to be taken to the uh, email builder. This is the, again, the automatic email people going to get. You can do a series, uh, email one, email two, and so on. So here you're going to type welcome. And this is, uh, you type your message. You can also use uh, templates. Um, with different designs on it. For for the first welcome message, I like to use the uh, plain simple one. And hi, first name, and then you want to say something along the lines of, well, welcome, or oh, thank you, thank you for subscribing 
and so forth. In any case, you're going to type in whatever information you is appropriate and, and related to your business. You're going to click on Save. And I'm going to click on Next. And then you're going to click on Save and Exit. So you created the first email on the series. You can have one email sent out when they first come in, then you can have one sent out the day after. Uh, this is, as you can see, the number one email they receive once they, they um, become part of your list. If you want to send a broadcast to your whole list, you, you want to click on broadcast, Again, you want to create your broadcast. Uh, you can use one of the templates on the right hand side or the plain text. What this would do is we'll send that email to the to the whole list. Doesn't matter whether you have 200 subscribers or 2,000. Uh, everybody's going to receive your emails. If you have a newsletter that you publish weekly, you can create the newsletter here create a template or use one of the template uh, options here and basically send your list uh, your uh, newsletter weekly. You can also on the tab that says subscribers you can manage subscribers, um, add subscribers, import a list. In this case I don't have any subscribers but you can you can add it manually or or import it from uh, some other application. The next thing you need to do is the sign up forms. This is the way people are going to get on to your list. Create the sign up form. You want to you can use one of the templates that they have select that you have an option here or you can modify the colors or you can use a, a plain one. In this case I'm just going to use a, let's see, a new one. Um, let's use a standard one. Close. Well, this is the body of the of the sign up form. This is, in um, some cases people, this is what they're going to see. If you want to type, you want to collect the name, an email, most people collect name and email, but if say you want to collect uh, the phone number, you want to create a new field, type the name of the field, phone number, and save. And there you have it. If you want to collect uh, address or any other information you can do that in here let's say that that you don't wanna you wanna no longer wanna collect the phone number you can click on the uh, arrow in the red arrow tab and just delete it once you're happy with the selection that you have created you wanna go save your form and go to step two in step two, you're going to give the sign up form a name. If this sign up form is going to be located at your website, you can s type something like uh, website or homepage. Um, you can enable the Facebook integration if you decide to. And the thank you page is where people, after they sign up, are be taken to. So you can have them stay on the current page or have them re di redirected to a, a thank you page. In this case, you will type the location of the thank you page on the space below. But since this is a website, I just want to have them stay. And this is a um, subscriber, already subscribed page. If, if they have already subscribed it, then they're going to 
be alerted that they already belong to the list. You want to save your form and go to step three. The home has been successfully saved. Once you have saved the form, you can either install your form you own on your website, have the form emailed to a web designer, or have a web host, host the form for you. Uh, let's say that you want to have the form installed with you, for you. This is what you get. You get the um, HTML code, JavaScript snippet that you can plug in into your website. And when people go to your website, they're going to have your, uh, they're going to have the sign up form right there. That's basically it. This is the basic Aweber setup system again you need to create your account create a list create the follow-up messages and create the sign up form you can have as many lists as you want and then as people subscribe you're going to be sending them uh, information for uh, more advanced training on Aweber or any other marketing material, click on the link below and basically join join our team and, and get more information. One thing that I want to show you just before we go is when you go to my website, basically in the front end you, you get this Aweber form that uh, asks for name and email along is is right in the front page of the website you can also create a, a pop-up window uh, in any page that will ask for the name and email but that's basically it i hope this tutorial was helpful for you my name is juan martinez and i want to thank you for watching